What's going on guys? Today I'm going to do a quick review of the Flexi Ice Pack. In this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this ice pack, including one thing I think you should know before buying. So guys, I got this ice pack uh, mainly because I had an issue with my elbow. And most ice packs, you know, you know, when you when you freeze them, right, they get really, really hard. This is actually cold right now. I can't show you that, but this is cold right now at the moment. Um, and it's been in the freezer for a little while. I just wanted to show, this is how flexible it is when it's cold, right? It's like a gel insert. And I mean, it has a little bit of resistance, but it's very, very flexible compared to uh, like a traditional ice pack, which is full of the liquid that you really can't bend. And this one you can, which was the biggest reason that I got it. Um, you know, that's why I think they called it even the Flexi. And I actually used this at my parents' house. Uh, and then after I used it, I was like, this thing's awesome. So that's why we bought it for our house. So aside from being flexible, which is a very big deal, uh, especially with like an injury to an elbow, um, they've got this little seam here right in the middle, right? Which is nice, you know, stitch quality, everything like that. These are double stitched here, so this is all high quality. Um, we've had this for a little while now and have not had any leaks, nothing like that. So it's a really, really good ice pack overall, uh, and we really like it. I've been using it, like I said, on my elbow, and it's been doing a great job. Um, and I just had to get it compared to a regular one that's you know usually cheaper just because this one's so much better. Uh, the other thing is the cold, in my opinion, stays longer. So I only keep it on for 20 minutes at the most, which is recommended. Um, but this stays cold for a while. And the interesting thing that I noticed, there's been a few times when I've left it out after I've used it, usually you just have to leave it in the freezer for like, you know, one, two hours. Two hours usually is what I do. Um, and then once you do that and take it out, it's good to go. So you don't have to leave it in there for like six, eight hours to really get it frozen completely. You just leave it for like like an hour or two and it really starts to uh, cool down and it's it's good to use right then. So yeah, guys, overall, I like it a lot. Now, the one thing that I think that you should know before buying, so I was looking, there's another version of this that can like basically go kind of around your neck, like on your shoulders area that's shaped a little bit differently. Um, but generally speaking, my one thing that I would like about this, if they had it, was some type of holder. So the only issue here, I mean, there's no straps, there's nothing, right, to to secure it to anything which is a little bit frustrating because it'd be nice if I could kind of wrap it around. Uh, I mean, I mean, I, I found a way to do that with other, you know, adding other things to it, but I would like if they had some kind of straps on it. They don't have that. So I think that's the one thing to know. So you'll basically either have to hold it or secure it in another way. But other than that, like in terms of, you know, ice pack, I don't know, technology, if you will, I think this one is superior compared to others. So if you're considering it, I definitely will recommend it for you.